COVID term drops in cases. So 2018-19 school year, our math scores dropped significantly from where we would normally be. We were disappointed with a drop in our scores, so we worked collaboratively, not just at Soam School, but across the town. Strategically within classrooms, we had kids orally explaining their math thinking, use paper pencil to explain it, and then ultimately be able to demonstrate what they knew on the computer. We use things like Google Forms and Kami to give them different tools, digital tools for sharing their math thinking. We got together, we talked about the data and what that data was telling us, and then from there, we created a plan on what do we want to do moving forward. One of the things that we discovered was kids weren't writing a lot because they're not used to writing on the computer. So we made sure that kids were doing more written work on the computer. Kids were not using paper to solve the problem, so they were trying to do all of the math in their head instead of writing it down like we would normally do to solve a problem. So we retaught kids how to do that and then how to convert that into um, the RICAS uh, text boxes when they had to explain their thinking. All the teachers really spent a lot of time becoming extremely familiar with the curriculum. And we really wanted to make sure that what we, was te what we were teaching was um, valid and in depth and knowing when the content was going to spiral and come back again so we weren't beating our heads or getting stuck in certain areas but knowing and trusting the process that it would come back and that the kids would get it. We did some more um, digital pieces using Zern, which was perfectly aligned to our math curriculum and math program that we use. We started to use Frecklemore, which is a math program that helps with building those math concepts and also building the math fluency. You'd have kids rotating through different groups or different activities. And if say you needed a little help with fractions, then you'd pull in and would pull, would start working on just some activities tied maybe in freckle or hands-on activities, things that would target exactly what you needed in that moment. And these were very fluid groups um, with kids coming in and out depending on their expertise or what they needed help with. Productive struggle, letting the kids struggle a little bit more and taking some of those scaffolds back that we would normally do for the kids and let them persevere at a problem a little bit more than what we would normally have done. Our school culture and our district culture really values habits of mind and so we explicitly teach the math practice standards and at this third grade level I would say persevering and attending to precision and explaining and also listening to your peers so that you can learn from your peers. So we put a lot of focus on the math practice standards which is basically good habits. Try your best. That's all that we can ask for is try your best. We know that you're capable of doing great work and we want you to just do that great work and show what you know.